This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Adrian Whitset, and we have a look at some of today's top stories. Two women charged in connection with the shooting at a Roselawn restaurant are jailed, each on $10,000 bond. It happened after Anasia Schinholzer and Sakaria Williams weren't satisfied with their order at Yummy Express on Friday, according to court records. The documents state that Williams sucker punched one of the employees in the face that started a fight. Authorities say Schinholzer then pulled a gun from her purse and shot the owner of the restaurant at Williams's urging. Schinholzer faces a charge of felonious assault. Williams has been charged with complicity. The man charged in two shooting incidents in Whitewater Township went before a judge today after turning himself into police. Investigators said this started when Adam Duncan was asked to leave the dew drop in on Sunday. Court documents show he shoved a waitress to the ground, was confronted by several customers in the parking lot, and that's where investigators said he fired two shots. One toward a woman who was on the phone with 911. They then said he shot a man in the leg at a traffic light down the road. And we've learned that Loveland High School girls basketball coach Darnell Parker has died. He died yesterday at the age of 44. He was diagnosed with colon and liver cancer in October of 2020. Parker is survived by his children, Alexis and Madison. His wife, Samantha, is expecting their first child together, according to the school district. The district has not yet announced funeral plans at this time. Brandon. Rain out there at times today. It's mainly just the clouds. 83 degrees, much cooler than what we've seen for the last few weeks. And get used to the slightly cooler air, but also get ready for some rain. 66 overnight tonight. A few showers and storms picking up as we get past midnight. More likely as we get closer and closer to sunrise for your Tuesday. Showers likely for the first half of the day on Tuesday. Some stronger storms possible as well. 78 degrees. Then the rest of the week, very wet. Rainfall day by day could amount to anywhere from three to four inches in some communities, which means flash flooding may be a concern as we move through your work week. Good news, if you had plans for the weekend, at least outdoor plans are looking good. We're looking at highs into the low to mid 80s with sunshine and a few clouds.